Vincenzo Pacini, grape grower, owner of Pacini Vineyard. We grow Zinfandel on the Talmadge bench. My family's been here since 1911. Um, we came here from Italy and started cutting wood for the leather tanning industry. Um, that's why they call it tan oak, it's to tan leather. And as they would cut down the tan oaks, they started planting grape vines to make their own homemade wine. One of the things that my grandfather taught me was just because something's broken doesn't mean you need to throw it away. Um, oftentimes, with a little bit of work and effort, grape vines can be revitalized. They're a vine. They want to keep growing. So the idea of always like bulldozing a vineyard and putting in a new one isn't always necessarily the right decision. Um, and it's not sustainable. And so oftentimes you can do some horticultural experience and some labor to try to revitalize a vineyard that may or may not have been pushed out. And to me, the most exciting thing about owning a vineyard with a piece of property with uh, vines that old is you don't own a vineyard like that. It, you're just there to take care of it for the next person because it's gonna outlive me, it's gonna outlive you, it's gonna outlive my kids, it's gonna outlive all of us as long as we keep farming it the same way and taking care of it and paying attention to the climate and what's going on and how to do this sustainably. So you don't own it. You just get to use it for your time on earth. And the biggest thing that I use that I think have the biggest benefit in my vineyard are sheep. I run 400 sheep in my vineyard every winter. Uh, they mow all the grass, they fertilize, um, they, help, they help stomp, I'm CCOF, Certified Organic Farming, they help stomp in organic fertilizer that I put in the vineyard, and they help, you know, their feet are just as beneficial as their mouth, so they help compact that, you know, tear up that soil so it doesn't get compacted, and, you know, they eat that grass and then sequester that carbon in their fecal matter, and then I put it back in the dirt. And that has helped the soil on that property immensely. And if you were to talk to the older generations of grape growers, like my grandfather, they would have never allowed livestock in their vineyard. And uh, I think that's something that's been the most beneficial thing in my vineyard period end. A lot of these vineyards that people are going to say are old, worn out, they were planted there before these new vineyards for a reason. And if you look at, you know, 100 years ago, 100 years ago, there was Real estate was cheaper, it was all available, and they planted these vineyards in maybe areas that weren't necessarily conducive to mechanical harvesting or huge irrigations. However, there was a reason they planted them there. Probably because they're on a slope and frost falls off slopes. They planted that vineyard way ahead of the other ones. Why? Because it was a good spot. And these people knew what they were doing. And so we always want to second guess everyone and we have a better idea and we're smarter and we're faster, but we're not always smarter and faster. And they did it with less, which means that they're more sustainable by default. I think some of the things that are important are being able to evaluate soil health, topography, slope, aspect, soil type, and what inputs are going to be required to grow a successful crop on that, in that terrain or in that terroir. And the key there is if somebody's done it before you successfully or in that area or in a similar facing, similar soil, similar canyon, similar slope, similar elevation, that allows you a foot in the door. And these older vineyards that people are saying are no good or wore out or their production's too low, that's where you should be looking. And that doesn't mean that you can't just plop in a vineyard there, but what that means is they were successful at one point and maybe that's an opportunity for a younger person to get into that because you know a lot of these big wineries are gonna be com competitive on young, high productive vineyards. And as a younger person, if you can market your fruit effectively to be less on the production side and more on quality side, you can kind of break through in that category.